In my last video, I explained how I bought a 2016 Corvette from Carvana, only to learn during my seven-day trial that the car was likely abused as a press car and had a voided manufacturer warranty. In light of that discovery, I returned the car to Carvana and was given a full refund. So this story picks up where the last one left off, and it was back to square one, and the search began as they always do. I was on Cars.com and Auto Trader looking for another Corvette. The problem was every C7 Corvette that had the options I was looking for was over $60,000. And since I don't do car loans, that price put them out of reach. So I put Corvettes on the back burner and started to look at other cars. Around this time, YouTube videos and ads for the 2018 Mustang were showing up everywhere. I'm not sure why, but I've never even considered a Mustang before. With the 2018 having 460 horsepower, it was time to explore this further. So I went to the Ford website and started pricing one out. To my surprise, a new 2018 Mustang with the options I wanted was $51,000, not including tax and title. I'm not saying that's a bad price for what you get, but since this is a new car, it would depreciate thousands as soon as I took delivery. So the search began for a pre-owned 2015 to 2017 Mustang GT. And luckily enough, there was a ton of them available right in my area. After just a few days of searching, I found this one. A 2016 Mustang GT Premium with only 2,128 miles. It was at CarMax, but at the one about 100 miles away from me. So I put a hold on the car and had it transferred for free to my local CarMax. If you do this, you will be contacted the next day by a salesperson that will arrange a time for you to test drive it. So that's what I did, and the car was transported to my local CarMax for me to check it out. So let's take a look at it. As you can see from these pictures, the car is really clean inside. I was hoping it would be since the car is only one year old. The car did not have the performance package, but it did have this Ford Racing strut tower brace. It also had these 19 inch wheels. It is a GT Premium, so it has leather seats and ambient interior lighting, which makes the door sills light up and has the Mustang logo project from the outside mirrors when you open the doors. After a short test drive, I was happy with the car and it was time to talk numbers. So, how much does this car cost? Base price was $32,998. CarMax charges a processing fee of $299 on every car they sell. I tried to get them to remove that, but they wouldn't budge. Let's look at the additional charges. There is a temporary tag fee, there is a registration fee, a Florida sales tax, a vehicle sales tax for the county, and then the optional electronic filing fee. The CarMax processing fee and the electronic filing fee have an asterisk next to them. So near the bottom of the buyer's order, they detail the reason for those. And it's basically just a way for them to recover some of their cost of doing business. Just wanted to make you aware. Add all these things together, and the total is $2,504.29 which brings the total price of this 2016 Mustang GT to $35,502.29. So I took out my checkbook and started to write a check to CarMax. The salesman asked me to verify I had the funds in my account, which I did, and a short time later, my name appeared on the big TV in their showroom to congratulate me on my purchase. While you are filling out the paperwork to buy the car, they start to detail it. Here is what my car looked like when they were finished cleaning it up. CarMax gives you a five day trial period with the car and if you don't like it, you can return it. I like this car so much, I kept it. 4,000 miles and 10 months later, all is well and I haven't had any issues or regrets at all. And that's the story of how I found my 2016 Mustang GT. Well, what do you think? Did I get a good deal? Do you like the car? Would you buy a car from CarMax? Leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. More videos are on the way, so subscribe to see what's next. Thanks for watching.